Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about improving the views in the issues list. I've created a new tickets list here based on the app templates here, issue tracking. And as you see, that only has a couple of um, views, three of them. So uh, they have all issues, active issues, and my issues. If I go into edit mode, I want to type in more information into this list, you'll notice that there are a couple of fields here that I really can't change. I can't change the issue ID and the issue status. Well, it's never going to start to be resolved or closed, right? When I'm typing in new tasks, then most likely it will be active always. So that column is um, kind of mute. So I'm going to create a new view here and I'm going to start with the datasheet view. So you can switch to that to enter information. So I'm going to call that data entry, which is um, most likely something that you want to do a lot. I'm not going to make this the default view. There are several issues with having a um, quick edit view as the default one. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to remove the issue ID and I'm going to remove the issue status and just click OK there. And as you see, I'm right in data entry mode there. And that, of course, makes it much better. Another thing that you want to do is make sure that you think about how many clicks the user has to enter to edit an item. And in all these, there's two clicks, right? You open the item, wait for that, edit the item, wait for that. Then you can start entering. So in, if you instead go in and modify the view and then just put an edit item at the top number one and then you can actually remove the issue ID if you don't really want that so having that edit button there is much more useful I think so edit as number one and removing the issue ID I'm just gonna click OK and as you see now I can with one click go in and edit that item directly I'm gonna do it again on the all issues here just modify the view, remove the issue ID, and set the edit as number one. There we go. So those little changes are quite useful and uh, can make it quicker and easier to work in your list. Then when you're creating new views, we're going to create view here. You should, of course, uh, always start from one that has the edit button in it already when you're expanding on these lists available to you. That concludes my demo on modifying the list view of the IT Tickets help desk system. Thank you for watching this demo.